Hey guys, welcome to Deslogic. This is the 13th video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to discuss the precision tool that is available in the panel section. So let's tap on that. So the precision tool works in two ways. The first one is with the guides and the second one is with the grid. So I will discuss both of them one by one. So for example, by default, the snapping is on as you can see and, and there are two options under snapping the first one is snap to grid and the second one is smart guides. I will discuss the snap to grid in a bit. So let's discuss the smart guides. So what smart guides do? They will tell you that where your object is exactly lying in the artboard. For example, as you can see, we have a square and we want this square to be in the middle of the artboard. So let's select that and So as you can see, this pink line is telling us that we are horizontally in the middle of the artboard. And if we drag it upside, you can see both these pink lines are intersecting each other. And they are telling us that we are horizontally and vertically in the middle of the artboard. So this is very helpful. So this is what Smart Guides and the Guides uh, tool will do. So the next option is the grids. You can add grids to your workspace that will help you uh, to draw uh, with a reference to the grids. For example, if you turn on the Snap to Grid and turn on the grids, you can zoom in and you can see we have we can move our object and it's snapping to the grids like that. And if we turn off the snap to grid option, it will move freely and you can edit as you like. So in grid mode, uh, it is recommended that you have to turn on the snap to grid option because it will give you more precise shape. So as for now, I am using just the guides because um, I have, uh, you know, much more experience now and these guides are just okay for me for a reference. Also, you can use these guides in reference to other shapes. For example, let's draw a circle which is here and if you want this square to be exactly in the middle of uh, this circle, so let's select that and now this now this pink line is telling us that we are exactly in the middle of our circle. Also you can select that and put both these shapes in the middle of your artboard like that. So this precision tool will give you the reference and will guide you in your drawing and you can create more precise shapes or objects by using these guides or grids. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.